Hi, this is a quick video to make a integration of uh, Zapier into uh, Google Sheets. Uh, and uh, so I've logged into my account here, I clicked on to connected accounts. I removed leads hook, so I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, my leads hook account. So go here and add that. It'll ask you to log in. It's called uh, test one. Okay, so I'll just uh, go ahead and log in now. Okay, so the login worked and it was added two seconds ago. Now I'm gonna go ahead and um, log into Google Sheets. So Google uh, Sheets, click that. And that's gonna pop up its login screen. Yep, log into that account. And I'm gonna allow. All right, so both of my accounts have been set up. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead and make my zap. All right, so we're going to go leads hook. Yep. Yep. And I'm going to pick uh, a decision tree. It's called Zapier. It's this one here. Yep, just click that for good measure. Continue. And while it's picking up some leads, uh, I don't have to look at the leads. Next. Okay, step. And go ahead and click Google Sheets. If you don't see it at that step, you can just put in the search criteria. Uh, I'm going to create a row yep create a row continue um yep succeed continue and before i do this part i just wanted to show you that's a spreadsheet that i'm that i'm going to be integrating with what your spreadsheet needs to have is the first row which is row number one needs to have your columns that you have previously that you have set up. These would would normally be your your custom fields. So like first name, last name, email, phone, age, wealth, income, height, whatever the data you're capturing that you want to pass to your clients, or any data you want to push out of of Leadsook basically into a Google Sheet. That's what you do. You need to have the first column already preset. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select my Google account spreadsheet is going to be uh, it's called Zapier test worksheet is sheet one because that's what it is sheet one right there at the bottom left okay so if you have a look now it's picked up all of the custom fields it's picked up the fields that I've already previously set up right there and that's what you ha have to have done beforehand now what you're going to do is I'm going to map that so Pick that to uh, okay. So looks like I have picked the wrong decision tree. Great. Okay. Um, so that's okay. Let's try it again. Um, yeah, this one here, I don't have an email address actually. I don't have my first name, last name saved in this Zapier test. So we, what it'll do is I'm going to go into, pick another one, which is Zap, and we'll call it um, sorry, that's the sheet. I need to go back into here. Oh, this is good. Um, at least we get to do it all over again this is what i want i want to pick a different spreadsheet here and i'm going to call it this test zapier big lead okay 
yeah it was a, a big uh, decision tree that's why it took its while okay let's continue I'm going to go back into here um, yep that's fine that's fine as well a template okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick that but if I pick this now I should see I should see the other th no it's still not picking up um, delete yes add a step new row yep, continue Yep, let's with the spreadsheet. There's only one worksheet, worksheet one. So it's picked up the fields, okay, which is good. I hope I have, yeah, that's the issue. All right, so I've picked a, um, a decision tree that doesn't have any any fields in it. Uh, but what would happen basically is you need to map the first name here and the last name here and the email here. And that's how it would actually end up working. So I've picked the wrong decision tree, but there you go. There, I'll, I'll map the emails. There you go, right there. Uh, I don't think this spreadsheet I had anything else. Yeah, so I've, I was only tracking email address. That's why it doesn't have any other fields. But what would happen is uh, your first name, last name, all the fields would would pop up here if you have the other fields, all right? Um, so, but I'll do it. I'll do one more test, and hopefully I'll get it right. Had a look. Finally found a decision tree with uh, more than email. Just right over here, continue, continue, and uh, Google Sheets, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine as well. Edit template, uh, and name yep so that works uh, so why didn't that work I've done nothing differently this time except just uh, I deleted everything just started a new zap from scratch so it's a Zapier error or bug I should say because um, how Zapier connects to Leadzook or any other third-party platform is is they take care of the connection part they log into our systems and grab the data so I couldn't quite understand why it wasn't showing up but anyway it's just I've just followed the same steps again and it's uh, finally working so there you go there's first name I, don't, I didn't use the last name for this decision tree, so that's why. So you're right in that it doesn't show up at this stage, but that's not a leads hook issue. That is a Zapier issue because you can see that it pulls, the leads are already being pulled with, with the fields, with the uh, custom fields over here. So if I go here and just open that up, you'll be able to see that, there you go, that, that's, that's, that's it. The um, first name is right there. So that should be available here. But anyway, it uh, finally worked. So it looks like you're gonna to have to delete a zap and restart from scratch. That's what worked for me. Uh, it seems to be a uh, zap is a bit buggy actually. Uh, but anyway, it is what it is. And I think if I just go continue, uh, it'll it'll show um, and to send the data. So right now, uh, on this I've got nothing. So my first name and email should be filled up once the uh, data transfers over, because that's what I've mapped.
and that's it that works as expected all right so i think what you need to do is to do it once or twice unfortunately nothing we can do about that um, we're supplying the data uh, this is uh, Zapier's part, is responsibilities from there to there. So if they can't give us a way to map this, uh, I'm not really sure what's going on here. But anyway, it works, so try it a few times. Thank you, and bye for now.